Hey there, guys. So I was working on a Pro Tools session this morning that I didn't save, and Pro Tools crashed. And so I'd been working on it for about an hour, and I'm going to show you guys why I don't panic when that happens. I go up to Pro Tools, and for this one, it wasn't being saved in the normal folder I thought it would be. And so I went and found it. It was being saved in my YouTube folder. At any rate, uh, for me to go and find the uh, session this from this morning, there's a thing called session backup. So I've moved it to where my uh, normal songwriting stuff goes and so I'm just gonna go there I'm gonna go click on the folder where I'm saving and also you guys should be saving on an external hard drive whenever you're working on music I don't save anything as far as music projects on my hard drive it just eats up too much space so bonus tip there we're gonna go to session backups and you can see here it was saved at 905 this morning which it had like one track and a drum beat and this is, uh, I, I saw exactly when the session crashed, which was at 9.50, and I figured I'd make a video about it. So here's the session now, and so here we go. It's going to load up my session, and I only lost about two minutes. I mean, does that stink? Yeah, because I was working on it, but it's better than losing an hour's worth of work. So what I'm going to do now is go up to File, Save As, and then I'm just going to remove this recovered part and I'm just gonna save over. It says it already exists. I'm just gonna hit yes. So everything should be there and we're just gonna hit play. And so that's pretty much where I left off on the session. So if Pro Tools crashes, which it does happen, just go to your session backup folders in the folder where you've saved your project. And it should be pretty close to the time where it crashed. So thank you guys for watching. If you got any value out of this video, please subscribe and comment down below if you have any questions. And I'll catch you on the next one.